Hey, Phil. They are writing about you, Phil. You know, good stuff. The prizes, Detroit, and that poem where you said in past lives you were a wild sun-crested fox being chased by ladies and gentlemen on horseback. You said you would wake up with the poem ready that it slipped untangled from a dream. All you had to do was sit up and write. The stage was a poem too, even though most of us were too prepared. You preferred to joke before we went on, before the poetry light hit us on the face. It did not matter to you. You just carved, chiseled, punctured, rotated, jitterbugged, and word past a distant gate. So I wrote this for Phil Levine, a good friend of mine, uh, who had open arms and embraced me when I first arrived at Fresno State uh, back in 1990. And I had known about him through Gerald Stern, another professor that I had. And I just really loved him, uh, his poetry, uh, miraculous poetry, that it seems like it's about ordinary things. And somewhere in the middle of that poem, uh, you're going to levitate and then come back to earth at the end of that poem. And you're going to have to figure out what happened to you and what happened in that poem and how it happened. And he also was a great uh, participant in the Chicano Latino Latina scene in Fresno, um, which was very well a beautiful thing because we all were so inspired by him.